Hi, and welcome to this new video on Security Onion. We ended the last video having escalated some alerting made by the Strelka module, and we found that some machine of, the, of our network downloaded probably a virus, but we want to use the rich query syntax of hunting module of Security Onion to understand and further investigate what's going on. So first of all, whenever you find something in Security Onion, it's usually stored inside Elasticsearch. And Elasticsearch is de facto one of the most used and state-of-the-art search engine. And each event is composed by name and value. So it's like a key value store. Even if you are completely new to Security Onion, you just can examine all the data that are logged into the system to understand how to use that data and which of these fields can be useful for further analysis. Looking to all these values, we can immediately see that event module is something really interesting because it contains the name of the module that generates the event. Also the event data set is really interesting because it contains alert, it contains the type of the event. So now if I want to further analyze this kind of incident, it's probably it's nice being able to look at everything that was generated by the module Strelka and it's another category. So you can simply click on the hunt and you can start with a query. A query is a simple text, so it's really easy to um, create and share some query. The query syntax is Lucina style query. First of all, you can write down um, the field you wanna looking at, and the typical query is name of the field, colon, value of the field. You can also compose with standard Google-like syntax like this. So if I want to filter out all events from Strelka module and alert type of, type of events, this is the query. Really simple. You can set to the right the, the range of time, last three months, and here you go, you can easily filter and look at every alert made by module Strelka. Now, the next step is grouping by because uh, we look at a lot of data. So group by is a powerful syntax that allows you to understand what's going on. So I can group by destination IP and you don't find anything. So that's because destination IP is a field that is populated only by Zeek module or every module that analyzes traffic. Strelka is analyzing files, so actually you still have your log because they are there, but you have no destination or source IP. And now what you can do is simply grouping by some interesting field like um, hash SHA1 because the hash of the file is usually an information that you can find in another log. And as usual, look at how useful is this simple query. It tells me that actually we had four different potentially malicious files downloaded from my network. So the next step is simply trying to dig more. So I can immediately gives you another uh, interesting query. And this is a query you can use. So you simply create a simple OR query with this for hash. Uh, do not forget to always include the name of the field because you can actually remove the hash SHA1 field and the query uh, works perfectly because if you don't specify the field, um, Elasticsearch is going to search in every field, but it can be slow. So this query is really simple. It tells, A, give me all the log where the hash SHA1 is one of these four and the module is Zeek because I'm interested in what Zeek has to told me. 
let's move on and yes, now I have destination IP and source IP. So now is the time where I can, I can group by source IP. And that gives me a couple of different uh, malicious uh, sites that actually served those files. And I can then further grouping by destination IP. So yeah, two of my machine are actually involved in both these IP addresses. And I can also group by hash SHA1. So I can actually see that all these four files I've looked in uh, Strelka, only two are present in uh, ZClog. So probably the other two came from other source, other alerts. So actually I see a couple of distinct files and each file is uh, easily uh, associated to one of these malicious source IP. So I have this 52FFA blah, blah, blah file served by this IP and this other file CAF5C served by this other IP. And it's really, really, really easy to take all this query and keep track in some form of um, Evernote, um, OneNote, whatever, because one of the greatest point in the hunt module of Security Onion is it can be used for query with a simple string. And now it's time to go on and investigate on those IP. Well, as I told you, one naive wave is simply create a query where you insert one or the other IP. So I'm talking to the system and tell me, hey, tell me everything you got with this two IP. Uh, there's a lot of information. So you can really uh, look for uh, group by destination IP. So I want to know which of mach which machine of my network um, in uh, interact with this two IP. And there are more than this other two machines. So the other are external machine, and these are obvious DNS. And the DNS is interesting because I'd like to know if this two IP addresses has some form of DNS. So I can say, I can change my query like this, one or the other, and DNS. I've not specified the field name for DNS. I'm just hoping that in my system, there are some record with the DNS part in it. And look at this, yeah, I've got it. Clearly, a better situation is to do a more specific query because as you can see, looking at all the fields, you have even dataset DNS. So probably a better query would have been this one, one of those two IP addresses and the event dataset should be DNS. And now you can grow by as you can see from the details of the query, dns.query.name. So I wanna know how many DNS name this two IP have. And sometimes when you group by a new field, your system can become a little bit slow because you can have a terabyte of data. And that's the reason why in production system you probably want to use SSD and a really fast disk. But in this situation, I just wait for a few seconds on a standard disk and look at this. I have the very same DNS query name for both the IP addresses. And that's normal. This is one test virtual machine of mine that I've used to generate the malicious payload for testing my security onion installation. But in real time, in, in real uh, world analysis, look at how simple it was pivoting from Strelka analysis, looking at the, the hash of the file from the hash, we look for every Zeek event related to this hash. So I can use for group by source IP, destination IP to look at all the traffic made 
by my local network with this malicious file. And finally, once I've identified all the external IP that contains this malicious code, I was able to look at all the DNS events for uh, to understand if all this machine have some friendly name. Now, since I've uh, I understand that, yeah, that's the name, the DNS name of the machine, I can just hunt for this value and continue, continue, continue it drilling down in my events just to understand what really happened in this incident. So I can identify external machine, internal machine, DNS query name, and everything that can be uh, important in my system. So in this situation, I'm looking at only a lot of um, DNS query and some um, and, and, and some standard HTTP traffic is where I've downloaded the file. But I can, as you now should have understood, um, the game is you can grow by destination port. So there were some strange this, mm, traffic. Okay, no, uh, I have no strange traffic with this IP. And I can further drill down and I say, okay, just look at those IP group by destination port. Oh, I have also a 22 port. So it's an SSH. So something um, nasty is going on because I can include and I press hunt. And now, including all the destination port uh, 22, and you can see uh, if, if I click on any value and I say include, it's a shortcut for manually creating uh, and modifying the query. And now I can understand that, uh-oh, one of my local machine actually did an SSH connection to that machine. So I can further and further and further investigate. I hope that this video um, really made clear the fact that thanks to Security Onion, you were really, really able to look at your data, search, pivoting, and finding and analyzing data in a real easy way. And as uh, the most important part, it's every query you have, it's a simple string, so I can simply um, cut it down, take note in a hunt and I can clearly copy everything and say, okay, if I'm going on the hive and take the, the case I've created on the previous video, so probably I'm not interested in this and I can paste some interesting query, interesting queries in the hunt. So if any other member of the team is going to investigate more on this uh, case, he can immediately find my interesting query that I've already done. So you already know where the hash and which are the AP. And this could help tremendously in understanding what's going on. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.